Donnie Chedrick with you on the PAC Sports Network as the St. Vincent Bearcats defeat the W&J Presidents in women's basketball 84-47. And our foster law office's player of the game, Jenna Lafko. Jenna, the junior out of Hampton High School, a career high tonight, 26 points. First off, I'll just start there. Thoughts on a career high in scoring to kick off the PAC schedule? Um, um, I think it's it's really good. It's a good um, start for me. Um, I think it's a good start for our program, too, as well. Coming off of the PAC championship, this is a rematch of the um, PAC championship last year, and I think it's a good start for us, our team to just keep, just keep going. It's good. Nine points in the first half, then 17 points in the third quarter got you to 26. What sort of stretch did you fall into in that third quarter that just got you in a groove? Um, I think one thing that our coaches really tell us is like our next shots in. So um, I don't think I made like a three in the first half, and the next the next three that I shot, it was in, and that kind of fueled me. Um, the team, my teammates, getting me the ball, um, looking for other people, just playmaking. Um, we have a lot of talent and a lot of people that can score at any given night. So it kind of it's hard to pinpoint who can score at that point. So um, it makes it easier for the offense to get get your shots when you need them to when someone's hot. You mentioned the PAC championship game from last season. That was a 70-48 to victory against that W&J team. A couple of players on both sides now gone, but that game looked eerily similar to tonight. So what were uh, some things that you noticed uh, that stayed the same? Um, I think our rivalry stayed the same. Um, I think we respect they respect us and we respect them. Um, and I think we just play with a passion for the game and that that really fuels us to go at it. It's a good it's really fun playing them. One thing that really stands out uh, with your team, Coach Petruska really preaches defense first off, but really unselfish play. Uh, you guys are always looking for the open player that next pass. So, just dive into those two things, the defense and then how that transitions into the good offense. Well, we kind of preach that defense wins championships, and that's a huge saying, and we kind of believe in that. Um, we really dig deep in that in practice. Coach Ash, Coach Jimmy, Coach Kurt really push us to be the best defenders that we can because our defense fuels our offense. So whenever our defense gets going, our transition gets going, and um, we, we really like to share the ball. Um, that's a huge thing because we have scorers on all sides of the, of the court. Um, so I think, yeah. Going forward, you guys now, uh, if you didn't already before, after the PAC title last year, sort of have targets on your back from everybody else in the PAC. So is that a challenge you guys as a team are ready for? Yeah, um, I think we accepted that challenge, especially today um, with W and J. Um, I think we're ready for anyone. Um, we're prepared to compete against the game, as Coach Jimmy would say. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're ready to take the next step. Then finally, what are some things you guys as a team need to do to be able to accomplish a repeat in the PAC? I think continue to stay together and grow as a team and a family. Um, I also think sharing the ball, playing solid defense, and just don't beat ourselves. Um, I think sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. Um, so I think if we stay together, stay confident, um, I think I think we should, we should be all right. That's Jenna Lafko, our Foster Law Office's player of the game as the St. Vincent Bearcats defeat the presidents of W&J 84-47 on the opening night of conference play here on the PAC Sports Network.